everybody. It means so, so much to us to share a smachot with you. Uh, whether or not I personally can dance, um, we're all here and this is Ari's day. So, um, yeah, as you may have already noticed, Ari, um, Ari is a truly uh, appreciative person. Yes. He does not hesitate to express his gratitude to his family, to his teachers, and he composes florid compliments to his bubby. When Ari was a very little boy, about three years old, one day he said to me, Mommy, you are so beautiful, and I'm only saying that to make you happy. It worked. It worked so well when he came home and the, his sisters are home, he said, Elisheva, you are so beautiful, and I'm only saying that to make you happy. And it did, because he genuinely uh, was looking, he genuinely meant it, and he found a way to make people happy, and he used it. Um, when he was a little bit older, in third grade, uh, he found another way. He would go over to the parents of his classmates who were picking up their kids from school, and he would tell them how wonderful their children are. Okay? And, and, um, and it was very specific pra praise. It wasn't general. He would say uh, specifically that they were respected by their friends, that they were good at Mishnah. Now, um, he did this just to make them happy. Now, there are some things that my children do that I can take some credit for. This was all Ari. I, 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 there are no words. Um, so, also, by the way, it wasn't just in third grade. He's been doing these all these years. Apparently, he still does that. Because why not? Now, um, Ari, like the Rambam, was born on Yudalad Nisan. When the time came to plan his bar mitzvah, well, uh, we didn't, <laughs> we weren't going to have his bar mitzvah on the first, on Lel Haseder, although the thought did cross somebody's mind. Um, but he could have chosen any parsha in the spring, any random one, and he could have had the party any time after like Ba Omer at random. But Ari decided that it was very important to him to have, um, to read uh, uh, Shirat Hayam. So we had his bar mitzvah actually on Shvi Yishol Pesach. So you can read Shirat Hayam. And the reason he, uh, he wanted to read Shirat Hayam is that um, it was important to him, he explained, because in davening, Shirat Hayam allowed him to feel gratitude to Hashem for the amazing miracles that he did for us and to praise him for it. So, the day he became Bar Mitzvah was Erev Pesach. His Bar Mitzvah was celebrated on Shvi Yishel Pesach in, you know, in, in Shul. And that's seven days of miracles, seven days of Hallel, seven days of praising God for his amazingly awesome intervention in nature. And tonight, the celebration of Ari's Bar Mitzvah, for various logistical reasons having to do with Pesach and Sphira and business trips and university um, schedules was postponed until tonight. Tonight, we finish counting the Omer, completing the mitzvah. Yay? Yay! Yay. I always feel we, there's not enough, like, congratulations on that. Yay to everybody who finished mitzvah for the Omer. Okay. Now, the Omer is first and foremost an acknowledgement of the grain that grows from the ground. It's, um, it's the first harvest of the first grain of the season, barley, through the first harvest of the most important grain for human consumption, wheat. So the Omer, um, the Omer is disorienting in a way, right? Because it doesn't start, you think it would start like the same day as Pesach, but it's the day after and you're always off by one, it feels like. 
Um, and it seems that it's very important that it be mimocharat, that it's the next day, that it's not the same. Because Pesach, um, it, it's meant to be a contrast to Pesach, not an identity. Pesach is all about extreme miracles. The big wow factor of the laws of nature and the laws of history being suspended to further God's plan. The Omer is about food that grows from the ground. This too requires appreciation. Very specific praise of God where we go out of our way and not for seven days, but for seven times seven days, we say the Omer is happening. There is grain growing from the ground. Because that too is an amazing thing. So, Ari's Bar Mitzvah spanned the seven days of Hallel, praising God for the miraculous, and seven weeks of the Omer, appreciating the more subtle miracle of everyday sustenance, of nature and life. And then tomorrow, on Shavuot, is Mikra Bikurim. And that would be the time when we praise God for the fruit of this beautiful land and thank Him for the opportunity to live here in a land where nothing is ever taken for granted. This is what it means when the Gemara says, the one quoted by the Shevet HaLevi, Kol hadar be'eretz Yisrael yesh lo eloka. Whoever lives in Eretz Yisrael has a God, and whoever doesn't. Living here, you have to be grateful. If you're grateful, you have to be grateful to the source of it all. And it's not enough to be grateful in general. You have to be grateful specifically. At the time of Pesach, for the big miracles. At the time of the Omer, for the everyday ones. And on Shavuot, for the meaning and perspective. So, in the end, Ari, your bar mitzvah is not at all random. In the end, it spans three different aspects of the season. Three different kinds of gratitude and praise very specific ones, that we turn to God and say, this land, it is beautiful. And we only say this to make you happy.